In question 26, we're asked to determine the ways in which Pluto differs from the eight planets. In looking at a few attributes of Pluto, we can see the ways in which it differs from the eight classical planets. For one, there's Pluto's orbit around the Sun. If we draw a view of the orbits of the planets in the solar system, we see that they fall in line with the plane of the ecliptic. Pluto's orbit, on the other hand, is very elliptical and highly inclined. It actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune for about 20 years out of its 248 Earth year long orbit around the Sun, something none of the eight major planets does. Another thing that sets Pluto apart from the eight major planets is its composition. The physical makeup of Pluto sets it apart from the rocky terrestrial planets like Earth and the gas giants like Jupiter. Pluto has less than 1% of Earth's mass, so it contains more low-density material as part of its structure. In contrast to the inner planets, which are made up of rock and silicates, Pluto's composition contains water ice in addition to rock. Scientists believe that there's a water ice interior inside Pluto with a rocky core at the center. So ice plays a large role in shaping Pluto's composition, as well as its surface geology. One other thing that makes Pluto different from the eight major planets is its largest moon, Charon. If we look at a picture of Pluto and Charon from the New Horizons spacecraft, we can see how close in size they are. Charon is about 1,200 kilometers in diameter, and Pluto is about 2,300 kilometers across. This means that Charon is about half the size of Pluto, which is a very large size for a moon relative to the planet it orbits. Due to their closeness in size, some scientists believe Pluto and Charon should be considered a double planet system. So, these are three of the attributes of Pluto, which set it apart from the eight major planets.